And along with all of these Independence Day activities, there is one local spot calling attention to what this holiday is about. Today, KCAU 9's Rebecca Pryor spent the day at Freedom Park and shows us what it's like celebrating the 4th of July through the eyes of a local veteran. Rebecca? Yeah, Bridget, as you know, the 4th of July for many of us, you know, the festivities just mean fun. But today I spoke with a local veteran who says this holiday weighs heavy on his heart as he remembers those who serve while we celebrate. On the 4th of July, it's not unusual to hear the sounds of freedom ring. I have to spend time with my family and watch the parade. And at a parade held on the road leading up to Freedom Park, it's only right that Zoolanders were making freedom ring loudly and proudly. I liked it when they were making the noises. I didn't think that they could make that noise. But behind all the noise, just over the hill and inside Freedom Park, one man is honoring our freedom in absolute silence. That freedom comes with a price. Freedom is not free. To Vietnam veteran Danny Kasky, this day and this wall is a reminder that our freedom comes at a very high cost. Believe me, they were, the, the, the names on this wall, they gave all for their country. If it wasn't for these guys to make the ultimate sacrifice, that uh, we probably wouldn't enjoy the freedom that we witness every day. And on a day where America is celebrating its liberty, this memorial wall is where Kasky chooses to come. Those fellows are no longer with us. Uh, you know, you uh, take it a little bit personal. Getting even more personal, Kasky reads the names of former loved ones on a wall where heroes' names are engraved. Jimmy Walter from Sioux City, Greg Coons from Sioux City. Some good friends of mine I served with in different parts of the country, Royal Gibson. Taking the time to remember that this is the home of the free because of the brave. We can enjoy the celebration, but yet we still know what it's all about. Siouxland is home to 28,000 veterans, and on all this Independence Day and every day, we thank them for their service. Reporting live in the newsroom, Rebecca Pryor, KCU 9 News. An important reminder for all of us. Thank you, Rebecca.